<laughs> Amen. If you would go with me to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, that eagle uh, prophet. Isaiah, that eagle uh, prophet. The 66th book of Isaiah, the eagle eye prophet who had the ability to look down the line through the telescope of time and say such and such a thing will happen at such and such a time mm -hmm. and the benediction that it was and it came to pass. Mm -hmm. hey, man, that eagle eye prophet. Isaiah, the 66th book. Man, man, I just have one scripture. I'm going to try my best, hey, amen, to, um, to work with this scripture. Hey, amen. It said so much to me. Hey, amen. And then I tried to deal with the scripture, but I had so much to say to me. Well, I really got to the scripture. So I'm going to work on y'all pray for me, all right? Hey, amen. Isaiah, the 66th chapter, in the ninth verse. Hey, amen. We're going to the 66th chapter. In the ninth verse. Six chapters and nine verse. Hey Amen. Would you take your Bible, your own your smart device, and you would just lift it up to heaven and repeat after me? Hey Amen. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be empowered. I will be empowered. According to Acts one and eight. According to Acts one and eight. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be equipped. I will be equipped. According to Ephesians six and ten. According to Ephesians six and ten. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be transformed. I will be transformed according to Romans twelve and two. According to Romans twelve and two. If I receive this word, if I receive this word, I will be blessed. I will be blessed according to Deuteronomy twenty eight. According to Deuteronomy twenty eight. Say, Lord, Lord, I believe. I believe this word. This word. I believe this word. I believe this word. Isaiah the sixty six book. Book, amen. And the ninth verse says, Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? Mm. Said the Lord, Shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Said the Lord, He says, Shall I bring to the birth? Shall I bring you to the time of birth and not cause to bring? Shall I not allow you to bring forth? Mm. And he said, um, said the, shall I cause to bring forth? Shall I cause you to get ready to deliver and then shut the womb? What? Said the Lord. My God. Watch, watch this. I'm going to read what, you, what the, the New Living Testament says. It says, would I ever bring this nation to the point of birth, birth and not deliver it? Wow. Oh, God, I better read that part right there. got me stuck. Uh, would I ever bring this nation to the point of birth and then not deliver it? Asked the Lord. No. I would never keep this nation from being born, says your God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the reading of God's most precious and her holy um, word. Amen. You may take your seat in the house. And I just want to share with you with this thought. This is the thought that I got out of it. This is the thought that came to me. This is the thought that penetrated me. Amen. And the, the thought that I would like to share with you on today is it's supposed to hurt. <laughs> it's supposed to I know we don't um, always want to look at it like that, amen, but I, I'm here today to tell you um, that what you are going through, uh, this may not be popular to some, but I have to tell you anyway, it's supposed to hurt. <laughs> it's supposed to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. It's going to give you a chance to make sure you got that in your spirit. It's supposed When a honeybee stings a person, it cannot pull the barbed stinger back out. The stinger, which is designed to protect itself against other insects, acts as a buzzsaw as it cuts its way through your skin. What's interesting is only female honeybees have a stinger. Because not only is it a defensive mechanism, but it is also an ovipositor. Hope I'm saying that. Mm. The ovipositor is a tube-like organ used by some animals for the laying of eggs. Mm -hmm. Men, please hear me. Please hear me, men. If you are not careful, the very thing that birthed you can be the thing that hurts you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. And as my uncle of Horace Gump would say, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Once the honeybee's stinger has cut through your skin, 
If it tries to leave too fast, it leaves behind not only the stinger, but also a part of its abdomen and digestive tract, mm -hmm. plus muscles and nerves. The reason you may feel like a part of you is missing is because in your anger, in your fury, or in your rage, you left too soon, and because of that, a part of you was left behind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The reason you feel like you are dying is because you are torn apart over your decision to leave too soon. And the fact that you stoned someone because they were trying to get close to you. However, as I began to dig a little deeper, I discovered that honeybees die tragic deaths when the one they sting reacts to them instead of responding to them. If the person being stung doesn't panic but remains calm, the honeybee will begin to turn around in circles until its stinger comes loose. Sometimes your advice if you, your advice is not what saves a person's life, but your ability to remain calm. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but it gives the person doing the singing an opportunity to turn around and say, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you have to do is turn around and say, I'm sorry, and the sting of what you said wouldn't hurt so bad. Wow. Let me take these I got to you don't have to work this a little bit. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, um, the truth is, you may be sitting beside somebody today mm -hmm. who is struggling with the deep-rooted and long-lasting pain. Mm -hmm. They may be dealing with the pain of a broken heart. Nobody can see it, but its pain becomes more and more unbearable every time they breathe. Mm -hmm. You can stab the body and it heals, but if you break somebody's heart, it can last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. yeah. But today, God wants to heal your broken heart. Today, God wants to not only heal your broken heart, but he wants to give you everything you need to put the pieces back together. Uh -huh. Somebody in front of you may be dealing with the pain of broken dreams. And broken dreams have the potential to create broken homes, which can lead to broken children. But today I ask God to breathe new life into every dormant dream. Hallelujah. Somebody behind you may be dealing with the pain of rejection. Mm -hmm. They've yeah. spent so much of their life being ignored, forgotten about, or dismissed by the people they love and care about. Mm -hmm. Rejection comes from people who don't know your value and choose to treat you like trash because they don't recognize the treasure inside of you. Mm -hmm. The pain of rejection is only intensified when you know they are treating you like an option, but you refuse to remove yourself from the equation. Mm -hmm. But today God told me to tell someone human rejection is his divine protection. Ah. Human rejection is his divine protection. Rejection is not someone wanting you out of their life. Rejection is someone that God wanted out of your future. Mm -hmm. God, I hope y'all get that. 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 Rejection is not someone is not someone wanting you out of their life. Rejection is someone that God wanted out of your future. And one of my favorite quotes of on rejection states, don't get upset when people reject you. Nice things are rejected all the time by people who can't afford them. Wow. God, help me, help me in here. Somebody sitting across from you, somebody sitting across from you is in pain because they are having migraines from past memories. They're in pain because they're having migraines from past memories because some people can't forgive themselves or forgive others. They live every day. We live in painful events and experiences experiences that occurred in their life. Uh, I don't know if you know anybody like that, huh? but God told you, watch this, he's clearing your mind so you can have a clear path toward your future. Hallelujah. You better lay your on your mind. He's clearing your mind so you can have a clear path toward your future. The true intention of pain is to alert you something is wrong. Yeah. That's the true intention of pain, is to alert you that something is wrong and that action is required. And too many people are in pain but won't come to church. God help me. In pain but won't pray. In pain but won't change 
need a circle of influence and pain but still talk to the person who's causing them the pain every day. Your pain is not always about what the enemy is doing to you but sometimes it's God trying to get through to you. Wow. your pain if you refuse to admit you are in pain. Uh -huh. You can't ease your pain if you refuse to admit you are in pain. Your pain is not meant to break you. Your pain is meant to build you. Uh -huh. And some of us are going through a pain you won't find on an x-ray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's pain on an x-ray. There's, there's no prescription uh -huh. that a doctor can prescribe for um, this type of pain. Uh -huh. A pain that leaves you with a broken a shattered spirit, a, a pain that causes you to sweep through the night and there seems to be no joy coming in the morning. A, a pain that's trying to get you to drive off the road and you're doing everything you can to stay in your lane. A pain that had you so close to backsliding to the very thing God delivered you from. You, you're dealing with a pain that didn't happen yesterday, that didn't happen last week or last month, but it's been years and years of pain in your mind, pain in your body, pain in your spirit because of past hurts and disappointments. And you have spent years trying to trick or convince yourself it wasn't that bad or it is what it is. And you say to yourself if I go to church, maybe God will trouble the water and I can get healed from what I'm going through. And you remember the name of the Lord, watch this, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and end our Savior. You remember the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. You remember that God is my refuge and strength of every present help in trouble. God will never allow your pain if he didn't have a purpose for your pain. As a matter of fact, he told me the pain that you've been dealing with can't, can't compare to the joy you got coming. No. So y'all don't even know the shot. Y'all don't even know the shot. Uh -huh. The pain you've been living with can't compare to the joy you got coming. Yeah. You, you got some people who will look at your shout, they will look yeah. at your praise, they will look at your worship like it don't take all that. Uh, but I shout through my struggles. Uh, I worship through my worry. Uh, I praise through my pain. Uh, you can't heal if you keep pretending that you weren't hurt. I'm trying to help somebody. You can't heal if you keep pretending and trying to act like you were never hurt. And the truth is, some of y'all don't even realize how that you were actually hurting because God has built up your tolerance for pain. Stuff that used to bother you bother you anymore because you no longer care what people think about you. You no longer care what people say about you. You no longer care what the word is in the street because all you care about is what God says about me. Acute pain tends to start out sharp or intense before gradually improving. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, some of y'all know about that acute pain. In other words, it starts out fast, but it doesn't last that long. Uh -huh. Some of y'all are not in here like y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And there are about five of you in here now who need to know that the pain you are going through is about to be over. Uh -huh. You just dealing with some acute pain. You just, you just dealing with some acute pain. The pain you're going through is about to be over. The reason I know it's about to be over is because I know trouble don't last always. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm hoping I'm at yeah. the right church. Is it 395 Church Street? Let yeah. heaven for them and empower the church of God in Christ. Hey, man, uh huh? Uh, we know we've been made in door for a night. Uh, but if you keep the faith, you will be all right. Y'all don't have to talk to me. I know what Timothy Wright said. Uh, why? Because trouble don't last. Come on, please. Hey, man, sometimes your pain seems like it's a trouble. But I come to let you know that that trouble is about to be over. Ah. Put me in this place, my trouble. Jesus. Don't let that go away. That's your acute pain. Then you have something that you have to deal with called chronic pain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I got 
got some pain connoisseurs in here. Uh -huh. We got some pain connoisseurs. We, we have chronic pain. And, and chronic pain can last for years and range from mild to severe on any given day. It is estimated that about 50 million adults in the United States are affected by chronic pain. Uh -huh. And in other words, you don't know how long you have to deal with chronic pain. In here. You don't know how long you have to deal with chronic pain, but, but chronic pain is the indication that you can take a licking and keep on ticking. Right, right. Oh God, it's an indication that you can take a licking and keep on ticking. Chronic pain is your testimony that you don't have to wait until the battle is over, but you know how to shout right yeah. now. Chronic pain is what allows you to say, though he slay me, yet will I trust in God. I'm, I'm talking about chronic pain. Because chronic pain is the realization that after you have suffered a while, the God of all grace who called us his eternal glory by Christ Jesus will perfect you, uh, will establish you, will strengthen and serve you. Uh, that's why despite your pain, you still have a smile on your face. Uh, God, help me in this place. That's why despite your pain, uh, you still have a praise in your heart. Uh, help me in this place. That's why despite your pain, uh, you can still forgive. You can still love. Uh, you still got joy because you know the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh, help me in this place. Uh, in spite of your disappointments, you still have joy. Uh, because you serve a God that specializes in turning midnights into morning. Uh, you don't have anybody that can testify. But I found out that greater is he that is in me. You can't take me out because greater is he that is in me. You can't take me under because greater is he that is in me. You can't make me lose my mind because greater is he that is in me. That he that's in the world. That's chronic pain. Help me out. Help me out, nurse. Help me out. I want to make sure I say this right, nurse. What nurses? Help me out. I want to make sure I say this right. Then we got not acceptive pain. I, I, I think I said it right. Man. Not acceptive pain, uh, which results from damaged tissue or organs. Uh -huh. God, help me in this place. God, help me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can always tell where it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But because of the pain, you know it's there. Uh -huh. Help me in this place. I'm talking about not acceptive pain. You can't always tell where it is. But because After injury uh, that results in surgery, and some of you have experienced pain. Watch this that has left you weary, wounded, and sad. Uh -huh. and, and some of you have been harmed by people you trusted and hurt by people who were supposed to give you hope. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But not accept the pain it affects your heart. Mm -hmm. It affects your heart. But God told me to tell you to lay your hands on your heart. Uh -huh. He told me to tell you to lay your hands on your heart and declare, "Let not your heart be troubled." God help me. Please, uh, accept the pain is after your heart. It affects the organs. It affects the tissue. It's after your heart. But God told me to tell you, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, I come against high blood pressure. I come against low heart blood pressure. I come against heart failure. I come against heart disease. In the name of Jesus, let not your heart uh, be troubled. In other words, your heart is still beating even though it's been beating. Uh -huh. Y'all don't want to talk to me in this place. Your heart is still beating, uh, even though it's been beaten. Uh -huh. Your heart is still beating, even though it has every right to be bitter. Uh -huh. Your heart is still beating, even though it's been broken. Uh -huh. That's not accept the pain. Not accept the pain. Also, watch this. Affects your lungs. Yes. Y'all know we deal with it right now. This coronavirus. Uh -huh. It affects your lungs, not just your lungs. But watch this. Your respiratory system. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It affects your respiratory system. Uh huh. But God told me to tell you, the more you praise him, the more he's breathing the breath of life in you. God, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, God. The more you praise him, the more he's breathing the breath of life in you. The more you speak to the people who despitefully you.
hurt, but I need you to know it's supposed to hurt. Yeah. You're going to get that. I got a little bit of the scripture, just a little bit, just a little bit of the scripture. Got me this. The next type of pain, watch this, is, is neuropathic pain. Mm -hmm. it's, it's neuropathic pain. And this pain results from damage to or dysfunction of your nervous system. Uh -huh. You going off on the wrong person. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. 
this place. You going off on me when you know you should have been going off on them. But you want to take it out on me when you know you should have been taking it out on them. You want You suffer because of who left you. Stop making the people who love you suffer uh -huh. because of who left you. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That was me. Uh, this is right now. Uh, uh, we're talking about new, new pathic pain. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all better get ready. Stop penalizing the people who did nothing to you. You're trying to hold them hostage. Neuropathic pain will make you lash out on people who are trying to love you. Watch this. Because you are used to being played. Huh? And they have no to suffer the consequences of what somebody else did. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to deal with that real, real. Oh, uh, we don't want to deal. Y'all want me to say, thus said the Lord, thy God. Yeah, thus said the Lord, thy God. You used to being played. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
That's spiritual pain. Let, let, let me help you. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but y'all help me out. Maybe I'm wrong. But when I didn't understand, I thank God when I didn't understand. This is what I teach my kids. When you don't understand something, you want to know something, you come and you say, Dad, don't come to me when I just finish fussing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you call to me out there and call out and you say, Dad, this is what you did, but this is what really happened. So they said, and you taught me through it. You explain, and then we build relationship from there. We get better understand. And sometimes the reason some of us are suffering spiritually is because we'll talk to everybody else, but we won't talk to God. The reason some of us are suffering spiritually because we'll read every book on the market, but we won't read the Bible. The reason so, so that's why we suffer in spiritually. Then we just have our day to day struggles. Just the day to day stuff. Our own little issues, self esteem. And my shoes short, I'm too tall, I'm too big, I'm too skinny. My nose too big, my nose too small, my forehead too big, my forehead too small. Just day to day practical stuff. Why they don't like me? Why they won't talk to me? Why they won't give me the time? They just practical stuff. And the truth is, it just deals with our self esteem because we want to be made to feel special by someone who doesn't make us, who doesn't think we're special. But you ain't gonna never feel special until you know how special you are without somebody putting down a day. In other words, when you're dealing with total pain, everything hurts. Uh -huh. When you're dealing with total pain, everything, um, everything hurts. This is where your heart hurts. <laughs> this is where your mind hurts. This is where your body hurts. This is where your spirit hurts. Uh, total pain, total pain. Well, have you so confused when people ask you what's wrong? You don't know what to tell them. God help me in this place. But have you so confused when people ask you what's wrong? You won't know what to tell them because you have so much going on in your mind, body, and spirit at the same time. Total pain is what tells people to drive off a cliff. Total pain is what tells people to jump off a bridge. Total pain is what tells people to put the gun to their head. Total pain is what tells people to pop one more pill. Total pain is what tells people to take one more hit. Total pain is what tells people to take one more ship. Total pain is what tells people to sleep with them one more time. But you stop listening. If you stop listening to your mind and start reading your word, you'll find out all things work together for the good to get that love card, to get the one to call according to his purpose. I believe the song had to say, why, why are we trying to figure it out? Uh -huh. He already worked it out yes, in this place. Anybody ever experienced that while you were trying to figure it out? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He already worked it out. Uh -huh. You were trying to think about what you was going to say, uh -huh. but realize you didn't have to open your mouth uh -huh. while you were trying to figure it out. We know because all things work together for the good to them that love God, to yes. them who are called according to His purpose. This lets me know, watch this, I could be in pain and still be saved. Uh -huh. I could be in pain and still be saved. I could be in pain and still have faith because I know that late in the midnight hour, God will get still turn around. Do I have anybody that's willing to trade in? Your total pain, your total praise, everybody that's this Do I got anybody that's willing to trade in? Your total pain, your total pain. Now I got to come to the end. And I, I, I got to get ready to try and sum this up and close it on up. And show you what God showed me. Mm -hmm. uh, Genesis 3, we read about the fall of man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But in Isaiah 66, we read about the birth of a nation. God. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying here. Yeah. I'm trying. Oh, God. In Genesis 3, the woman is introduced to a personal pain 
Um, when God tells Eve, because of your sin, you are going to experience the pain of childbirth. Yeah. Uh, which means the sign, watch this, that something is coming out of you is pain. Okay, let me back up because I knew that, I knew that, I knew y'all were gonna miss that. So I gotta come back again. I gotta come back again. I gotta reach that again. I gotta make sure you understand uh, what I'm telling you. Uh, in Genesis three, watch this. The woman is introduced to a personal pain. Uh, 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 now Satan tells her, I'm gonna put intimate between you and your son. He gonna strike your heel and, and he gonna strike strike his head with his heel. Uh, uh, he told them, uh, one going to strike and one going to crush. Uh -huh. he, he tells us that. But that's what, that's dealing with the children. Uh -huh. He said, now i got to make this thing personal. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he tells her, watch this, he tells her, he said, because of what you did, because of your sin, you are going to experience the pain of childbirth. Yeah. God, I'm trying to get you to dig a little deeper. Now, can you dig? I need you to dig a little deeper. Now, I need you to get this. Watch this, watch this. Uh -huh. Which means the sign that something is coming out of you is pain. God, help me in this place. The sign that something is being birthed out of you is pain. I'm going to say that one more time because I need the church to get this. The sign that something is being birthed out of you is pain. Help me in this place. The sign that something is being birthed out of you is pain. It He said, I will not cause pain. Uh -huh. 
mm-hmm. without something new to be born. That's, that's what he said. And the reason some of you ain't going through nothing is because you ain't carrying nothing. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I got to speak to the whole lot. Just like I got to speak to the whole man. I got to speak to the whole church. And you might not be here. You might be on social media. But if you don't find yourself going through nothing, it's because you ain't carrying nothing. But those who are carrying something, you know how to have those premature contractions. Let that remind you that you got something on the inside of you. She would kick you. Uh, they would shift. You say, Oh, I feel them over here in a real cage. Uh, oh, they, I, I gotta go to the bathroom. They sit no more now. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, they were there. Yeah, they were what was on the inside of you. Uh, was there to remind you uh, that I'm not dead, I'm alive. Uh, and I need somebody to know who's going through some pain. God's not dead. Uh, he's still alive.
do it perfect. Yes, sir. some tent set up outside for but we still need to come to church we still need to come to the spiritual hospital there's something God help me in this place there's some stuff that medicine can't do that God can do help me I heard the mother say Jesus is my doctor he writes out all of my prescriptions he gives me all of my medicine in the room in the room in the room
Watch this, watch this. Man. It might cause you some pain. It, it might cause you some hurt. Man. It might cause you some difficulty. Man. It might cause you some disappointment. Man. It might cause a little frustration. Man. It may cause you to get upset. Man. But the Bible says, man, many are the afflictions man, of the righteous. Man. But the Lord delivers them out of them all. Man. And I stop by to let somebody know. Man. You might have found yourself in trouble. Man. You might have found yourself being afflicted. Man. You might have found yourself in some stuff. Man. You ain't got no fitness here. But God says, because you're my son.
That's what you mean, painful. Oh, uh, were you pushing that baby out? I heard that some people have went to labor and they just deliver.
I thank you for your word. Your word can stand up against every sickness. Your word can stand up against every disease. Your word can stand up against every virus. Your word can stand up against every famine. Your word can stand up against the stock market crash. Your word. Your word. Your word. Your word. Your word. God, we in this place. We humble ourselves and we come to pray. God, you say if we did that, if your people did that, if we turn, God, you say that. Some of y'all look right here, but I need you to hit me in the spirit and not the physical. I'm not talking about the earth that you're walking on, but I'm talking about the land of your mind. God, heal our mind. God, so we won't be easily persuaded, so that we won't be easily distracted, so we won't be easily disturbed. Heal our mind, God, so we can keep our eyes straight on you. Heal our mind so we can hear your word. Yeah, heal our mind, God, so we can stay rooted, grounded, and planted in you. Heal our mind. In the name of Jesus. Heal our mind. Heal our mind, Lord. Heal our mind. Heal our mind. Heal our mind. Heal our mind. God. Heal our mind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heal our mind. What you think is a famine is working out in your faith. What you think is a famine is working out in your faith. What you think is a famine is working out in your faith. Ah, oh, God, help me in this place. I declare the decree that every entrepreneur under the sound of my voice, you shall not lose anything. But God, I believe you. And I stand on your word. And I'm prophetically prophet, declare a decree that God increases in their an increase for their life, an increase in their business, an increase in their finances, an increase. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you got laid off, if you had to take off and they don't want to pay you, God, I declare in the creed that money will find its way to their bank account. That money will find its way to their house. That money will find its way to their wallet. That money will find its way to their purse. In the name of Jesus, that God, you will allow them the creative ability and the power to get the wealth that they need to not just sustain themselves, but to go higher and over whatever part that they set for themselves. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's supposed to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. The pain is making you push forward. The pain is what's making you push forward. The pain is what's not allowing you to give up. The pain is what's not allowing you to give in. The pain, the pain is supposed to hurt. It's supposed to hurt. But I stopped by to let somebody know after this. After this, after this, being that, after this, being that.